Hello, welcome to my channel. So today I'll do kind of experimental video with many electric bicycle testing and experience. And I will try to record on GoPro. And every after every ride, I'll give you my experience and tell you what I think about this brand and about Pacific bicycle. So first, I'm gonna try with uh, Jack Rabbit. I wanted to do it for a long time. It's a little bit like a small, little mini bike with no pedal, actually like scooter. So let's go and try it and see how it actually perform. And I'm 5'11", 215 pounds, and see how it will carry me. And I'm at Electrify Expo. All right, so it's Jack Rabbit. Yep. Cool. How fast it can go? 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour, that's great. The bike is not on with one click. Okay. This is your acceleration. I'll get it. This is your one brake. brake. Your kickstand, make sure that's up. Yep. The kickstand. So, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. The, I was saying your kickstand. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah. So, it comes with how many speeds? Okay. One speed. One speed only. Okay. Yeah, I recommend putting the balls of your feet mm -hmm. on here so that way when you turn. I do review on the bikes. Huh? I do review on the bikes. I did a lot of mini bikes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay, I'll find. So, just over here, I can go on the long ride. Yeah. You go Okay. Because I want. Okay. All right, guys. I'm on the Jack Rabbit mini bike, and actually the scooter. The brakes, not bad. Just a second. All right. So let's see how fast I can go from zero to sixty meters. Yeah. Actually, the brakes are not bad, they are rear, so it's good. And I'm gonna take it off-road, maybe, to see how it's going. Actually, not bad at all. Acceleration, probably... Uh, acceleration about the same, or even less than Jetson Ball Pro. So, I would say, again, they're selling them for about thousand dollars. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but again, I'm here just to test it out and you guys decide which one you like. And it's fun. Uh, actually, brakes works not bad. Let's see if it's mechanical or not. And I'm gonna stop by and show you the bicycle. The scooter, I guess, close up as well. Then I'll take it on grass and see how it will do on the grass as well. And stability, oh no, the stability is kind of funky. It's a bit, yeah, we have to be very careful as well. But actually not bad, one inch works. Let's see how the grass, on grass, it's not bad as well. So you can go off-road, as you can see, I'm riding on the grass and it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Just gonna park somewhere so I can show you the bike, how it looks, and how cool it is. I mean, okay. So this is a jackrabbit. You can see it right there, and the motor is only looks like 220 or maybe 300 watt peaks. Uh, so I'm not sure 300 watt peak power or just 300. Very basic about i'm not sure how much like about 25 pounds maybe less and it's got throttle some ring bell which is same as just ball pro just cheapest one short handlebar so and this one is can be extended but i will not touch it because i'm afraid it will break so i'm just going back and i'll try actually nicer bicycles so stick around and let's go actually i'll have some hill test over here see if it can bring me up to small hill and i'll have a more test today and i will try to come tomorrow i want to make at least 30 uh, bicycle tests in one video so you guys click subscribe and like it and see for yourself which one you like so i'm going a little bit hill over here it's not stiff but it's on grass which pulling me not bad it does not any it doesn't have any odometer or so i don't know what speed i'm going up but it has like a power or something and yeah 
people testing all the bicycle nice one. So I'm going back and get like a real bicycle. So it's uh, maybe good to put in trunk, but I think it's too large for the some cars. So um, it's a good question if it's good or not because some foldable bicycle actually might be about the same weight but faster and with more information and price about three times cheaper so for you guys decide all right and i'm um, by monday it's like um actually it's a e-bike because there's a pedals all of them e-bikes uh, most likely street legals with no license we'll find out but i'm not sure if they're gonna let me ride one but i'll ask so let's check it out yeah. Presidio. Presidio, family friendly, step through design. Yeah, yeah, I see, step through a little bit. And Front how much watt power is this? It's Bafang motor. Bafang 7. Du dual uh, suspension, nice shocks. All right, so 750? 750. How much a new meter torque? Uh, it's. Uh, I don't know the, the battery is 672 watt hour it's about 14 amp battery for it so okay so do i need to sign any waiver or no, you're good. good to go okay great do you want okay. helmet or are you good i'm good okay. um it's well, i rode the jack rabbit you know it's after that bike like, you can yeah, yeah you yeah, don't no, need a helmet i like that okay yeah. it's fun um, um so throttle half throttle, half throttle. Yeah. so this bike comes with half throttle nice display and this was um, pedal assist modes one two three uh, three modes how fast it can go on the top uh, speed 15 20 and 25 28 28 uh, with pedal assist or without pedal assist or full throttle okay so um, so it has some uh, guard like motorcycle okay see you later oh this one i can feel the torque this one's better yeah kick status up oh it's up uh, thank you and uh, yeah this one i can feel the torque and stability of this bike is not bad but i would say the seat actually position and total position actually one to ten i would say six or seven maybe even less because the handlebar is kind of low and i'm 511 i sit about on the same level as handlebar and i would not say it's good maybe it just uh depend on the tire pressure as well but it's a pretty torquey nice so i'm gonna go for right now and see how good accelerate it's not bad actually very nice 70 miles easy 17. I'm not gonna go high speed over here because I don't want to crash without helmet. But so far, so far I think it's great for somebody who is shorter maybe because handlebar actually attaches into the fork. I don't think you can extend it. And I'm not sure what's the price on them, but it's a Monday. Monday fund is ever actually this one probably is a one of the lowest budget maybe. I'm not sure. I never check them out before much they always popped up on my facebook page they have nice hydraulic brakes which is works real good some branded right, then i'm gonna stop by and give you more information and see and the good test is on the grass sometimes because it's very hard to ride on the grass sometimes when it's uh, not powerful bike and this bike actually not bad not bad at all not bad so I'm gonna stop by over here and check out what it comes with. So it has a light. So it's kind of nice menu over here. You can see it right here. So you got a plus and minus, so it means increase the pedal assist. It's only come with three pedal assist mode. One, two, three, and walk mode. So when you press it probably, you know, you have to use throttle, I guess, you know? okay I'll probably hold it for a few seconds but anyways power button and light let's park it and see it is cool bike monday 
they're making nice bicycle monday motorbikes but all of them about the same kind of suspension the rear shock it's a little bit uh, not bad actually but as you can see the seat is very low and handlebar is pretty wide it's about maybe 26 27 inch wide nice display you can see on the bright sun right now the headlight feels like plastic uh, most brands use it about the same uh, the tires is okay not bad tires looks like is there cst bft like 20 by 4 so the hydraulic brakes radius and let's see the brakes actually so there's only one speed because it's like moped style that's about it and um, looks like 160 on the rear and the front might be 180 i'm not gonna waste more time on it because and there's cables right outside look on this cable management I'm not sure if you can see it right there. Hmm. Never saw like this before, but hey. And also, it has a tail light. Most likely, it's a brake light. Yeah, it's a brake light as well. So um, again, Monday, Monday, uh, it's one of the bikes. So I'm gonna go back because I want to test it more. Oh, and about pedaling. So let's see. Uh, easy to pedal. I turn off the bow and the pedaling actually not bad at all. The hands, the feet actually going above the handlebar as you can see. So this bike is not for pedaling for sure. Uh, mini bikes I reviewed actually much better pedaling. So I'm gonna go back and try another one and let's see how good. Uh, a little bit uphill test and speed as well good acceleration should make at least 16 to 17 miles an hour up to the finish line 17 17 17 and a half so about 18 so actually it's not bad not bad for 750 motor i tested before uh, many 750 motor would get about 17 miles per hour on the grass so now i'm gonna try new brand it's yadi i'm not sure if I pronounce right but they do have some different kind of step through step through and this one is like super 73 almost but it says trooper 01 so new bicycle so let's see how they ride so let's start it up it does come with nice display but sounds like it's very bright and you can see everything so it comes with um, pedal assist levels does it come with pedal assist level i think so okay the trip this one uh oh, okay so it comes with a uh, three modes echo mode mid mode and high mode so and go back you have to go through all of them so it's interesting kind of and handlebar about six, 26 inches got some beep yes from here light and let's go, so I'll come back. Oh, you can just choose echo? Yeah. Okay, there. So it's um, also my feet above the handlebar and the pedaling is not really would be a good idea, but I will ride it as moped style and accelerate. Actually, nice. Actually, it comes with nice brakes over here, hydraulic. Oh, I'm going to wrong directions. Got to the wrong direction, so. Let's see what breaks. It's a uh, Tektro. Nice. I like Tektro. It's not bad nice brakes hydraulics so oh, i'm going to the wrong direction here you go so i need to go all the way around but it's very nice acceleration braking nice and actually it's uh the seat is not as soft but the suspension works real good on this bike looks like not bad at all not bad at all so i'm gonna go for speed test and hay back or oh, hay bikes sorry guys i'm gonna come back to hay bikes later but today i want to test as many as i can so you guys can decide which one you like yagi 
I'm again not right way. I need to pass through. <laughs> And um, I'm not sure, it uh, sounds like a 750 motor, but it accelerates really good, but let's see if it uh, makes difference on the high mode. And the battery, it's uh, almost full. You can adjust the speedometer, everything, if you want to, but... Going... Oh my god, much better. 28... Wait, oh, it's kilometers, guys. It's kilometers, not miles. That's why I was surprised. So it's set in kilometers. You can probably adjust it to yeah. see it better, but so far, it's not bad. Position is not bad. Uh, pedaling would not be great. The battery right here and compartment underneath for clothes and stuff come with horn, which not as loud, but it's good to have. It comes with a cup holder as well. And um, wow, actually, really nice acceleration. Feels like thousand watt power motor. I'm gonna stop by and check out the motor as well to see how fast actually. Because I noticed many people over here they selling the bikes, but they don't know information on them. That's kind of so. I can see how it's on grass. It does right on grass, not bad. Look how fast. Wow, I'm gonna stop around here really nice very nice I'm gonna just park over here okay I need and it's not as actually it's not as heavy probably about 80 pounds or a bit more so I want to show you trooper zero one they do come with different kind of but it comes with um, kind of small rear suspension which is spring and it's not hard not soft so it's somewhere between plastic I mean, no it feels like plastic guard and let's see what's the motor oh 750 motor and i think it was bafang i know it's yadi branded motor and it does have some packs over here so the second person can sit behind that's a real nice so it's kind of kind of super 73 and it comes with headlight which is sounds like plastic but again who cares and small front fenders and kind of mud guards over here for the fork and the fork actually let's see hydraulic not bad not bad at all so I'm gonna go back and see how it will go uphill but I feel like it's great acceleration so far this Mondays I didn't want to waste your time guys and Monday I tried one I didn't really like the position on it and not very comfortable at all but a lot of people are testing and see how this bike from zero to finish line and it will be in kilometers it's not bad, 25, 30, 31, and brakes works good, good brakes as usual, they do good brakes, so, okay. Alright, oh, I'm going to the wrong one, alright. Actually, they also come with dual motors, which is really cool, and tires looks good. Chonyan uh, tires, it's uh, more like uh, between budget and uh, depends on the kind of you choose, but they're good. Can go up to 20 psi, looks like. Dual motor, I'm gonna try this bike as well today, or maybe tomorrow. So let's try another bike. And now I'm gonna test the Meiji cycle. I know you guys asked me to test some of the bicycles to see how good. They usually come with 52 watt battery and should have some more torque in it. I believe it's like 750 motor with a Meiji cycle brand on it. And the seat looks large, should be soft and nice. Handlebar like 28 inches wide, which is good. Half throttle, nice display, colorful. Uh, I'm in a glass, so yeah, it's not bad actually. With a uh, like manual bell, hydraulic by Bengal, which is good, large 
front light and well this one is basically full suspension bike which doesn't have a rock and i'm not sure if they come with a mud guards most likely you can attach one probably and it comes with a disc brakes but i would assume it's 180 millimeters both and front is on quick release so it's easy to remove the front wheel most likely 26 by 4. hopefully i will not kill myself on this bicycle today and let's go I'll post it on the speed number, pedal assist number, oh, they have seven pedal assist level on this bike. I'm not sure if you can see it, but a lot of cables over here. So this space to, to buy extension most likely and get this handlebar higher if you want to. But yeah, looks like... Oh. Uh, acceleration not bad at all not bad the position everything i need to adjust to make more custom to fit better but looks like the seat and handlebar too close to each other for my height so it's thanks so it's kind of pedaling see i need to change the pedaling level I'm gonna change to level one, maybe two, because everybody's slow right now. Somebody probably slow, so Jack Rabbit over there. And let's see how easy to pedal. Uh, pedaling on number one. It's not bad, I like regular fat bikes, I guess. Right now I turn to to pedal assist zero, so it's not bad at all. Um, I know some people like really fan of Meiji cycle of 52 watt, but unfortunately I cannot really test it in the mountains, so I cannot really see how much torque it got. But maybe they'll send me one for test when I get more time to experiment. But let's see if the controller set so I can see. Looks like um, the throttle works independently from pedal assist, so it's good, so it can go up to the top speed. And I believe this one can go probably 28 and above miles, I'm not sure on the throttle only or not. So, let's see. I'll go with the, on the grass first. Actually, it's not bad. And I'm gonna park to show you major cycle i don't remember what the name for this one i think deer they have all the na animals name but it was good it was good all right so i'm going back um about the suspension rear suspension uh, they're actually not bad and most likely they will perform not bad off-road the bike is uh, heavy so it does need some pedaling with uh, uh but again let's see how good acceleration So I just made 21 miles and now on the grass. Actually on the grass about 18, so about the same as uh, other bicycle. So I'm gonna go get another one. So this is fat motorbikes. They looks all the custom, looks like custom made. And I think they're in one nice California. I saw them before actually on Facebook and yeah, all of them like are custom made. They even have like small like scooter with attachment, go for hunting probably or whatever. And even like this, my carriage. So a lot of stuff. Uh, also, they have like um, a large scooter. Okay, I'm gonna try one of the bicycles and see how it goes. So it's like scooter with a seat. It's removable, right? Yeah, you can You can remove this. Okay. And Let's see how. Um, power. You want full power? 
not football. Just this no speed. And uh, this is throttle or? Yeah. Okay. This brake. Hydraulic brakes. All right. So it's a little bit different animal, I guess. Um, fat motors. But... It should be really fast. Oh wow, that one is really fast and it has signals, turbo mode actually, and they have even signals. Wow. So um, yeah, this one is totally different. And, oh my God, that's fast. But anyways, um, I'm not gonna ride fast over here because you cannot do it here. And. Um, I think I'm going uh, wrong way, most likely, or maybe right way, because I'll try. So it's kind of different, and this is um, it's like a scooter. So you have display over here with the speed, and I think you have switch mode, so it kind of a lot of features. The key comes here, there's full light up front, which is great. You should change by push button the handlebar. Can I go? Wow. It, it does really give you a lot of torque. Uh, I think this one, 8,000 watt power. So one of the powerful scooter I ever rode, actually. And oh, this one is much faster than this motorcycle, most likely. And I feel like more torque. But hey, I still want to make other videos and display in kilometers, so it's not accurate for miles, but I came here to try all kind of rides, so this is one of the new to me, like a scooter. I did like Bugatti scooter review, but that one is like for kids, I guess, 90 miles now, top speed, I believe. So this one can go probably 50, 60 miles, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah. Usually the scooter is not good on grass, but this one is good. Let's see, wow, it's, it's not good, but you cannot really see anything on this play for some reason, because of the sun. And stability is not bad, not bad at all. But because of the display, kind of colorful, I cannot see anything on display with the glasses on. Not sure if it's going to be better without glasses, but let's see how it will go on. Uh, Grass. Oh, the grass, it doesn't matter, it's pulling me uphill. Wow, it's really good. Really good. Give you good torque. Really good torque. And I think they changed the route, so now people ride them. Wow. Really good torque. And need to find an exit to try other bicycles. I want to show you as much as I can today so you can decide which one you want. And looks like I went to maybe wrong direction. I'm not sure, like, I don't see any way exit. I know it's fun to ride on the bicycle, but I want to exit to go to report video for other. Oh, here you go. Yes, I can. Nice, nice. And good suspension, actually, good suspension, which is actually working. So I'm not sure what's the price for them, but again, um, you can check the brand, Fat Motors. And, oh, it's a very powerful and nice, powerful and nice bike. I'm, it's not a bike, it's a scooter. But I want to try one of the bikes, which I might do a video later on. Did I pass by or not? Where is it? Oh, okay, I see. So now, this you can raise it higher and get it. No, two different metals. So this fat motor comes with dual motor, 2,000 total watt power with two batteries. I'm not sure how much, but looks like a lot. As you can see, a huge battery on the bottom, one on the front. Nice seat, about 26 inches wide and a bar which is good um, good position for the pedaling as well and i'm gonna go for a ride and see how it rides a nice display okay so fat motor 
dual motor actually over here and let's see how it will go uh, looks like looks like the throttle depends on the pedal assist on this bike so I'll put all the way to the five I'm not gonna pedal it now actually I can pedal and see how it go uh, pedaling not bad actually you can pedal this um, the seat kind of sliding up front so it kind of the bike is tall but at the same time you can pedal it so you can pedal it but again yeah, it's kind of uh, not really the best position for pedaling but all of the like e-moped styles are about the same it's a little bit higher position and let's see how good torque in this uh, acceleration not really as exciting but it comes with zoom motor so you turn it on over here and then you can feel wow then you can feel acceleration but the scooter i tested before 8000 so you can feel it actually much better much better wow but let's go on the grass and see how it will be on the grass Thank you. and on the grass it's good perform really good on the grass I'm gonna park over here take some pictures and then see what this come with as well Fred Motors um, I heard about this brand as they are located in California in one ice looks really cool almost like Super 73 rear suspension which is uh, some kind of innovation technology I don't see it was a brand but looks like nice maybe even a suspension maybe not but maybe it's just oil so far dual motors you can feel really better torque and uh, better like uh, Chao Yang uh, tires 20 by 4 uh, yeah, inches nice headlight plastic as well looks like nice fork let's see how it fork actually perform actually nice hydraulic and nice seat seat not bad at all and branded battery looks like fat motor and the hard to see the motor out here but looks like 180 millimeter disc brakes and disc brakes actually real nice by this land it looks like um, full piston most likely so it's because it's powerful bike and fast as well so it does have to have all this protection safety nice brakes very important on those type of bicycles as, as well and oh wow and i'm not gonna pedal it because this bicycle is for fun not pedaling okay so try to ride it And I'm gonna go to juiced bikes. I, I wanted to test them out, but it was a long time ago when I contacted them. And let's see. Now I'm in dual mode. Going up real good. 18, 19, so about 20 miles an hour, which is not bad. Usually like 17 to 18 miles an hour when it's one motor. So it does give you some kick and again when you on dual motor you have to be very careful because the front will become slippery if you because a lot of torque and it's you need to get used to ride them because it's kind of dangerous even to ride them <laughs> the brakes works really really good so um, you can check them out they probably have upside fat motor really like it nice I'm not sure what the name for this brand I mean for this uh, model but it looks cool green a lot of like character in this and I'm gonna go for another bicycle 
so I'm gonna try Akai and it's a 1000 watt motor they say by Frank uh, let's see if it says 1000 uh, oh, people drop the scooter but anyways Akai display building in the frame kind of so it's kind of unique design and let's see how it actually perform thumb throttle which is great I like thumb throttle uh, building bell which is good and yeah I can feel like it's torque nice um, mechanical tractor brakes are good they're not bad at all so wow uh, typical thousand watt motor it's closed oh. Oh, okay, good. So, one sound motor, but very nice display right here. You can see it, not touch screen. You have to use. Um... Okay. It comes with actually three modes, I believe. Wait, uh, five modes, six modes. Yeah. No, three modes only. Pedal assist three. Right now. But the fun is, I think it's going up to the top speed. Um, not sure what the top speed on it, and I cannot get top speed over here, not enough space. But let's see 15, 16, 18. Nice. So, uh, yeah, usually they can go up to 30 miles, Bafang 1000 motor, even faster sometimes. I have like few bikes with Bafang, they are good. Yeah, I can see it's Bafang, like, but not bad, I would say not bad, the seat is very hard, so if you're planning to ride this bike, I think um, the seat needs to go a little bit upgraded, uh, handlebar is convenient, nice grips actually, nice grips, it comes with headlight over here, kind of, menu right here convenient as well, let me park and show you. Yeah, it's kind of actually dangerous we see how many people like riding there and some of them doesn't know how to ride um yeah looks great uh, i like this uh, stable frame they also have like some step through looks really good uh fat tires 26 by 4 really fat nice full fruit but the fork is okay it looks like let me check it out um it looks like um spring fork maybe hydraulic hard to say more like but it's not bad not bad at all so far looks good uh, the disc looks like 180 millimeter front disc and rear uh, so seat is not bad not bad but it's kind of a little bit hard dual mud guards and i'm gonna go back and i really want to try dual bikes if i have enough time today maybe tomorrow so i'm going back and there oh the seat is not sitting well here i need to adjust but anyways the pedaling is not bad uh, so it's good bike for go off-road or cruising um, pretty convenient like um, very comfortable hold so I think uh, better than um, I feel like this bike better than magic cycle for some reason even but again you have to really adjust them very hard to say until you adjust everything under your height okay but it's very powerful i'm not sure how fast and i'm gonna go to test it out another bike all right so here's a juiced bikes this uh, i believe special edition some kind of cross current eggs so uh, they're busy so i will try to ride them maybe today maybe tomorrow all right so i'm on the repracer juice bike and let's see how first the seat actually very hard huh, let's see yeah actually the seat is um i usually don't complain about it but it's a bit need probably adjustment let's see i'm going to the wrong direction oh i think go 
Oh, uh, I'm oh, sorry. Going to the course? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go. okay. So. <laughs> kind of new direction now and but I can feel like a lot of torque this bike actually looks like Troxus uh, sky, uh, sky troopers or something like that <coughs> sorry but it does have nice acceleration I believe they use 52 watt motors which is good I mean good because it's uh, give you better torque and great acceleration 26 inch but uh, I think the speed limit only I'm not sure it's going in the right direction let's see how fast I can go on this one so I believe it's cut off on 20 Yeah, uh, probably 20, but I will try to do on the grass. And um, grass is get me about 16, 17 miles almost. Yeah, almost 70. So it's not bad, it's not bad for 26 inch. I'm not sure how much torque power in it. It does have key over here so big battery looks like so far so good i mean i'm not sure what the price on them but i'll hope i'll find more time to make video about them later but today i just try to make as many right tests and the handlebar is pretty wide about 28 inch so it's good and um, again the brakes force good hydraulic by logan it's a um, very nice kind of bike it's a step over bike i would say with tail light over here so you don't have any fenders you don't have to have them also looks like 180 millimeters maybe more let's see yeah 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes which is good controller right over here hidden handlebar is nice i think i have on me bike similar handlebar but wider the grips are really nice on the bike display very clear and you can see everything on the sun like colorful nice but i like actually like this one and it comes with um up to five and then r, r is probably for racing and half throttle and this one is just replacing the brand is 5 uh, p51 okay. so throttle is right here yeah. the back brake is here to we'll start you at one okay. and then if you want to go up you just no, press that or yeah. go down yeah i do bike for you oh. uh, so how fast this can go this will go 20 to 25 20, to, 20 on throttle only and 25 no you can do 20 to 25 it just depends kind of on the weight we oh, okay. it won't go over 25 since it's a class two so then you can ride it oh. anywhere so oh we got it and uh, the motor looks large so what's the motor and that i don't know 750 750 yeah. oh, okay because it looks large for the 750 okay cool and the large uh, disc brakes tetro okay i'll go for it and see okay. thank you you're welcome Wow, it's soft, nice. Right? You yeah. wouldn't think it would feel like that when you get no, on. No, it's one of the softest. I only tried one radio. Uh -huh. I think of whatever name. It was soft, but okay, I'm gonna try. Okay. Wow, the seat actually, the suspension, really nice. Like Cadillac. <laughs> so, um, nice display actually, pretty large display and clear. It's like in a car going, yeah, like speedometer in the car with a very convenient button to change the the pedal assist right on the left side so i'm gonna go for right since they close the truck today i might still do it tomorrow as well so let's see and uh, actually very nice pedals on it so you can feel the quality right in the bike right uh, okay so right side is the front and left side is rear so it's like month cycle i think um i like the thumb throttle real nice also 
come with adjustable fork it looks like nice fork hydraulic looks like with some guards um uh, uh, yeah so i think it's one of the probably nicest bike i'm not sure what the price on them p51 model and but unfortunately they're not as fast for some reason i'm only getting like 10 miles an hour let's see if it will change when i go to sport mode because sometimes they attach they are attached to the pedal assist mode so that's maybe why but i'll try it yeah maybe oh yeah they're attached to pedal assist mode yep so yeah it accelerates real nice uh, i think it's a kind of large mo a large motor so it might be even fast as it can go but again they set up to not to go as fast just for one reason pedaling it's okay um handlebar can go higher if it would be much more convenient but not that bad and looks like this bike does not have any yeah i think this bike does not have any uh power cut off in the brakes so basically uh looks like it's just regular brakes I, uh, let's see what the brand is origa brakes hydraulic but they don't come with um or maybe it's I'm not sure why but yeah it does not really cut off the power so you can do wheelie but it's a real nice acceleration really nice bike i like it and i tried also a uh, mini more bicycle day before but i didn't record it but i can share it with some experience if you want to but i'm gonna come back tomorrow and record more like short videos so if you like this video please hit subscribe and like it so more people can see it also i tested some uh, pre-launch bicycles which are gonna be launched probably next month some new company as big show i might have one on my channel as well so please subscribe like this video and i'll try to make more videos like this tomorrow also if you're interested in any of this bicycle you saw or if you're looking for specific you can message me on instagram or facebook and also you can check the link in description for affiliate link and if you buy from one of the affiliate link you will support my channel and again thank you guys for watching as always welcome to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video